Have you ever thought about writing a book or perhaps you know someone who has? Well, this is a seed of an idea. And my husband and I had the seed of an idea that grew inside of us. And so we put a book together. And I also chose to agent the book myself, which means that you send out a lot of these proposals. And then hopefully you get a response back from the publisher. Well, sometimes the responses aren't exactly what you hope they're going to be. They're rejection letters saying thanks, but no thanks. And they say that you're not an author until you can wallpaper a room with those rejection letters. Well, I'll tell you, I was really feeling I was on my way to becoming an author because I received a lot of those rejection letters. But finally, we received a letter that said, yes, there's a publisher who is interested in our book. Well, we were thrilled. We were just knowing, yes, this was the one. It was the perfect publisher. And... So we were celebrating already in that mode of feeling our success. And then I had a dream. And the dream said to me that the proposal was going to be sent back. And I actually saw this in the dream. Well, my husband and I share quite often our dreams in the morning. And this one I didn't even want to talk about. I just wanted to avoid talking about this dream because it wasn't what I really wanted to see happen. David went to the office before me that morning and he called me and he said, Galen, I have some bad news for you. He said, the proposal has been returned. I said, oh, just like the dream had foretold. I was devastated. I couldn't believe it. Here, all this work, all this effort, all the planning, we thought this was the right one. This was the one that was going to publish the book. I felt so discouraged, I felt so devastated, so disappointed, I was just crying and crying. My dog came over to me and our pets can be so comforting to us and they pick up on our emotions and our feelings and she was right there beside me as I was crying and just feeling completely devastated and doubting myself and wondering why I'd even gotten into this project in the first place. It was a dumb idea. Who was I to think that I could get a book published? And so I had these doubts and fears and these tears that just kept coming. And in that moment, I had this voice inside of me, often called that still small voice. And the voice said to me, make another call. I said, no, no, I couldn't possibly do that. I feel too raw right now. I feel too vulnerable. No, there's no way. But the voice persisted and said, make another call. So finally, I blew my nose. I looked at the list of publishers that I hadn't heard from yet. And believe me, the list was getting pretty small. And I went over to the phone and I made another call. I made a few calls. And finally, on one of those calls, I was able to speak to the senior editor, which is the person that I needed to speak to. And she was very encouraged and interested about the book. Yeah, and she asked, great. could I send oh, the proposal to her right away? I said, absolutely. Thanks. And so I did. And Transformative Rituals became a reality. And they published the book. And I realized in that moment, it would have been so easy to give up. It would have been so easy to just let the whole thing go in that moment. But I persisted. I was stronger than my fears, and I moved past my doubt, and I made the next call. And so whatever it is that you have in your life right now, my friend, that you would like to do, that dream that you'd like to see made a reality, take the next step, make the next call. You have the strength within you to do great things. Do it now.